Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing some more Portal Stories Mel. Right where we left off, Virgil had just told us that we were going to be disabling the turret production system, or we're going to be making friendly turrets. So, uh, let's get started. Hmm. What else does it activate? Something up there. So, we're gonna have to come back here. I'll have to be careful not to accidentally clear my portals. Whoa. Is that... Oh, it's just because this is at an angle. I was wondering why it went to that specific spot. Hmm. This looks like we're gonna have to play cube there. What does that do? Oh! Oh. Oh. Interesting. How am I supposed to get this? I think you need, like, a light version of an excursion funnel. Wait a minute. Oh! Interesting. Well, I'm just going to assume that I can get back there, so... What's with all these people obsessed about a silly hoop? It's just a hoop! Just a small circle of metal. Oh, I know what that is. This is this is hoopy. It, there's a uh, there's a, a saying that uh, for, for Portal 2 speedrunners, you know, there's a saying that if you don't get this during your run, then your run is over. And it's basically when you're when you're activating Glados with Wheatley, there's this little hoop that you can pick up, and uh, all the speedrunners like to get that. <laughs> That's so so cute to see a reference to it here. It's actually quite funny. That's a cool little easter egg. I think that's the first easter egg I found. <laughs> okay, so... No idea how to get that... ...quite yet, but we do have an excursion funnel. Oh! We can do it that way. Oh wait, did I not hit it? There we go. There we go. Okay, so now I gotta figure out... What we're gonna do from here... Okay, so we've got this... We can access that... But where do we want to put it? Oh, what happened here? Also, I like this music. <laughs> That's interesting. Where is the... I guess it must be up there. Oh, that's, um... Yeah, that's what the, uh, the button... Yeah, that's what that activates, so you gotta have a cube on the button over there in order to open the exit. How do we get up here, though? Like that. Oh, so we have to keep here first. I guess we could just do this. I don't even know what the point of that emancipation girl is then. Oh nope, not not there. Uh here. Sorry, I had to cough. Okay, where do we want to go from here? Looks like there's stuff in here, but... What about overall, at this end? Nope. Okay. Looks like an exit of some sort. Whoa. Oh. The shadow just disappeared for a moment and it startled me. That... permanent? 
Okay, what was the point of it if it just turns off permanently once you get here? I really do not understand the point of that. Here's our laser cube! Okay, so we just want to move the, the cube back, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. We're gonna also have to have a cube there. Hmm, this is interesting. You think that's a red herring? Like, you think we have to have the laser cube there and point it into the wall and we have the portal up here? Why else would it be like that? Because we have to have the A cube over there, and we have to have the laser in there, otherwise the exit won't open. But... Unless there's like a third cube that I'm just missing... Genuinely confused. Yeah, I think this, uh, that this thing is a red herring. Oh, it auto-saved my game there. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not going to do that again. That might ruin the cube. Oh, okay, so we probably want the laser cube in there then. Going through portals really messes with this thing. I like the way the music changes inside the explosion tunnels. Come on. Yeah, I guess we could just set up the... It's supposed to be like a red herring, like, why would you want that? Okay, so that's a line. And then... Well done! That's a line. Test subjects rated that as one of the hardest tests in this track. I heard that it was made by two particularly cruel scientists. Now that wasn't hard, it's just got a red herring in it. Who even knows what that flip panel is for? I'm so 
still sorting through all those files. There's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find something that can help us. Huh. Did you know you can increase the size of your core in just two easy steps? <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, that's game assisted. I can't even- I can't cheat up onto there. Over there. Okay, so this is a cube. Did I try this guy yet? This is, uh... Yeah, okay. What disables this? Over there. Is this on a timer? It is on a timer. Interesting. Oh, well in that case... What's this here for? I have no idea what this thing's here for. Okay, so that's on now. Let's see what's up here. Hmm. Interesting. And over here? Another cube. Look at this eye candy. Ooh, interesting. Do we need to switch the cubes, you think? Let's try switching the cubes. <laughs> so that's interesting, if I aim at the, the spot that it wants me to aim at, it doesn't aim assist, but then if I try to aim down there, then it aim assist. I don't want you to cheat your way up there by falling down out of this portal into here. Either way, it's pretty cool eye candy. I like it a lot. There's that. Of course, we can't get into there ourselves.
This is quite a predicament. making that dripping sound. How are we going to get over there? needed to keep a portal in there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try that again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I did that wrong. <laughs> Here we go. So now once we get over there, we keep our orange portal there, and then put the blue portal under the... the... the orange... excursion funnel. And then we can just call the cube again. So I was right, we did need to switch the cubes. I'm glad I- I thought to do that. Yeah, cause now this guy is off. Ooh, that was close. Oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ah oh man, I've gotta do this all over again. From the beginning... again. Now we got 
gotta take this one over there. cube again. Actually, I don't think we needed to switch the cubes, but I did it anyway. Yeah, thinking about it now, we didn't have to switch the cubes. It's just something that I did. Because I could have called this one as well. Oh, that was weird. It would have been cool, though, if this puzzle required switching the cubes, so it would have also been kind of hard. <laughs> they probably wouldn't have wanted that. Save the game when the cube bounce, that's funny. So, apparently, the records on these computers are kinda... severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing track sequence. Well guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!